All right, guys, so we're almost done with the build of the 392 for overlanding. Uh, let me start with some of the parts that you already guys know, but I want to go in a little bit in more in details of what we've done and, uh, and what we haven't yet. We have our KMC 17 inch uh, beadlock bronze rims, and we got our 38 inch Nido Ridge Grappler. It's by 12 and a half. We just put in rock slides, which is automatic. The nice thing about these is it's actual rock slide. And also when you're off-roading, they have put in a switch for me that I can turn it off. Next thing are these side uh, furry steps, which everybody has been asking me for we got the furry bracket to mount our water tank and filter this is a custom made bracket that i made with a couple a couple of bolts and nuts um, a shovel from home depot it's a devolt shovel that i painted it and rhino rack brackets these are lockable they have locks underneath. To the side, we got the uh, OVS awning. This is well built, guys. This is a very good built awning that it's freestanding when you open it. If there is a storm, you can actually put the uh, supports on it and tie it down. But other than that, it worked great. We've also installed the Roof tent, which is James Brood. It came in, we installed it, it's damaged. So we're gonna have to replace it. Uh, I'm not gonna give, put any reviews on this until they replace it and see what the other one will be. Uh, once we have it, I'll put the review. We've also changed the lights, fender lights. This is a Quake LED smoked erase kit light but i kept the original fender lines well we had to cut it but it looks pretty good as far as suspension we did uh, evo manufacturing four and a half inch overland uh kit with king three to five inch adjustable shocks that we can adjust right here to make it soft or hard we have the Baja design LP6s I bought these amber covers it actually works pretty good I mean when you put the cover you got an amber light or you can remove it and it's just white LP4s on top the evil manufacturing kit is a short arm it's not a long arm that's one thing i regret i should have gone with the long arm that's i gotta tell you guys and also i should have thought about the, the rear of the car because i have so much stuff sitting on the back the back is sagging down a little bit so i should have either gone with the uh, coilovers or maybe a five or five and a half inch raise in the back so that could have leveled it that's one thing i wish i did and if you guys have any solution for that leave it in the comment because i would love to know what to do because right now the front is higher than the back and i want to fix that we got the trail gate which opens up and it's a cutting board also i just installed I bought this from Amazon, the, uh, the fridge and the slide, but I didn't put a platform. There are two screws, I just screwed it in, one here and one in the front. It holds perfectly fine, but for now, that's that was my solution. For now, it works, so we're gonna leave it. I sold my Anchor 2500 power station 
because it was too big and heavy. I bought the Jackery 1500. The fridge uh, will be connected to that and my chargers. I bought this Dometic box, very light aluminum box, so we can put some of our gear in there. But as far as mechanical wise, I've changed the, all four axles to heavy duty axles and the ball joints. Also, steering stabilization with ATS Fox shock on it. I would love to hear your thoughts about this build or if you guys have any uh, suggestions that I should have done or I should change, please let me know. It'll help me, you know, make this rig a better functioning. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.